Caught on camera and now going viral in Central Florida. A veteran and his service dog refused service at a Port Orange bar. He was told his dog could stay, but he had to go. Then to top it off, the bar manager called police and had Stephen Harmon removed from the property. But he's not the only person who feels this was discrimination. News for Jack's reporter Eric Avigny tells us what happened before the confrontation. Army veteran Stephen Herman tells News for Jax over the phone that he came here to the Porthole Bar and Grill in Port Orange after neighbors told him this was a great place to grab a beer and eat fish and chips. When I walked in, I got greeted with a bartender that told me I couldn't have a dog in there. When I told them that, you know, he's not a dog, he's my service dog, the bar manager came up behind me and told me that there's no dogs allowed. And then to top it all off, she told me that the dog can stay, but I had to go. Police were called to the bar. Listen to what the manager told one of the officers in this body cam video. Was there a disturbance or something that was going on? No, we just don't want a disturbance. You just don't want a disturbance? Right. The manager had Herman trespass from the property. Days later, members of K-9 Line Incorporated showed up at the bar with their service dogs after hearing about what happened to Herman. Their organization is the same organization that trained Herman's service dog, Major. And like Herman, they were told by a different manager. Dogs can stay. But the owners of the dogs have And so they were all kicked out. Dog trainer Alexandra Clark was one of the members asked to leave. Is this because we are disabled and we have service dogs that you're going to discriminate against us and we're not allowed to be in the restaurant? After the video went viral, bar co-owner Mike Knight issued a public apology. We should have maybe recognized the fact that we need to be trained a little bit more to see what is indeed a, a service dog and what is indeed a pet. And uh, I've, we apologize. But according to Herman, the damage is already done. And now I'm worried that any place I go that, you know, there's going to be this kind of altercation again. That's Eric Avigny reporting. Despite the apology, Harmon says the discrimination lawsuit against the bar is still on the table. You can see that body cam video for yourself, by the way, on newsforjax.com.